Hello and welcome to Trainsim TV and this is the first of our free early access videos showing off the free routes for Trainsim World 3. Currently the game is under its early access period and will release fully to the public on the 6th of September so not long to go. Uh, and say so in the meantime we're going to bring you three videos not not long videos but just to show you the um each of the routes at least just to give you a, a flavor of what's to come so on this video we're going to be featuring southeastern high speed we're going to do a run from ashford into st pancras international it's about 38 minutes drive time wise so um before we get into there as you can see user interface all new really nice easy to work with um it's been streamlined in such a way to help you now Rather than be told what you can drive and what to drive with, you can now pick a train. It'll tell you what route you can use on that train. Um, you can still pick by route. You can pick by train. Um, it's it's a lot easier. I like the way it's all been set out. This as well. Um, I love the little like the video that plays in the background. You can't really see it very much. Yeah, I'm just, there we go. So you can see in the background there's um one of the American uh, BNSF trains going along about a bit potentially. Although that looking, it could actually be on the test track, that to be honest, but it's still very nice. I, I do like um, that in the background. Um, so yeah, it's, it's easy. It's, I'm, I'm blown away. <laughs> I'm blown by, by the weather. The weather system has just changed the game so much, and we'll get straight into this, and um, I'll show you what I mean. So we'll pick a train. Uh, sorry, we'll pick a route on this one. We're going to pick Southeast Nice Speed. We'll go to the timetable. We're going to pick the Javelin, which is class 395 SEB. Click that and then click over on this side here. And then you're presented with all the services that that train can run on the route. Um, plenty to pick. There's a lot more than there were on the original one. Um, there's a lot. I think there's something on the region of about 491 services or something like that, I think it is. Let's see if we can figure that out. Um, I don't know if it tells us. It should tell us. Uh, does it tell us anywhere? Oh, sorry, it's there. 601. It's even more. It might have been somewhere like three or 400 originally. I can't quite remember. I know the, the timetable they're going for now is pre, just before COVID, so it's it's a lot busier. Um, it comes with 14 scenarios, which is a nice hefty number compared to usual. I think basically you've got your original ones before uh, the extension and then um, extra on top of that. Um, and then modules, the three train modules which you can run under the train centre. So again, going back in here, I've already done three runs of this already. It's uh, really good. I've done the 66 and a few javelin runs up to now. So we'll pick the javelin again. Uh, we'll pick a a general sort of mid afternoonish run. Um, if you want to see the weather in a sunset period, go to my Twitch channel. Um, like literally recently, I just streamed it um, on its first night on the early access, and we did a run on the sunset. Absolutely amazing. I've never seen weather and lighting in a train simulator that looked so stunning. Um, it was just amazing watching that sun go down. Uh, so we're going to pick one from Ashford, because we're going to start from Ashford. So um, we want... We found one. I don't want downsiding, so they're, they're only short. Uh, but we'll do Margate, so there we go. So we've got that one. We're going to go dynamic weather. We'll go somewhere in the region of around August. Not like clouds on there. And we'll get started. So currently I've only got the, um, the three routes in the game. Um, all my back catalogue TSW2 um, stuff and everyone else's will get injected to the sim after the release um, which is on the 6th so between the 6th and 24 hours after I think they're, they're quoting on that so you'll hear as well it's got a bit of a different noise when you click the buttons um, it's got a bit of an overhaul on that as well so we're presented with one Juliet 49 the Margate to St Pancras International Service it's 16.43 on the time we're going to drive the South Eastern Service from Ashford International to St Pancras International with a class 395 um, with South East and Brandon there, we have a weight of two thousand, uh, sorry, two hundred eighty-five point nine tons. Car length of six and a length of one hundred thirty point five yards. All right, let's get the key in. So the train itself is pretty much as well. I'm not overly sure what if they've updated some bits on this or not. It may well have added some extra bits to it. Put all the warning systems on. Uh, pan up. 
and we'll unlock our doors. Uh, where's the button on this side? There they are. Let's have a quick look around at Ashford because obviously this is a new station to the route and a very nice one that is at that. A couple of things I was a bit disappointed on were the fact that, I mean, obviously not this much really, but some bits and pieces where you'd expect to maybe be able to have a little venture around. Um, like stuff going into the subway through these doors. I mean, you can go in the subway, but there is ways into it. So it baffled me as to why some of this is all locked up. Same with the bridge um, going across. It'd be nice to have been able to venture up in there. And even going to the waiting rooms, like they've put all this detail in here and stuff, and you can't even access it, which is a bit of a shame, really. I mean, just to even wander around. You can sit in a chair. It'd be cool. You can go in some of the subways. Um, their snow balls are now working, which is nice to see. Let's get rid of the for a second. We probably will end up running a little bit late on this, but it's not a problem. The station's looking very nice. In general. Bar them little bits that I, I was just, it would have been nice to have like, seen. There's a newspaper stand there. I did see something floating here a second ago. I did, I did notice that there's a um, help point floating in the air. Don't be a minor issue. There's some nice detail going on. I'm loving the uh, OH loop here that's just sat on top of there with bolts into the uh, canopy. One thing I'd love to see with this is obviously we haven't got a Eurostar, but a Eurostar, an extension to Channel Tunnel. I think that would pop this off really nicely. Really nice run that would be. It's nice to see that extensions to routes now have been tackled, and obviously we may see further extensions down the line to other routes, who knows. I'm going to quickly jump out of it because there's a couple of collectibles that I uh, must get. <laughs> I am an absolute um, sucker for going to get all the, uh, the collectibles, I love doing all this. I get sidetracked and that's how I end up being late. But we've got to go and get them collectibles when they're available, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, see there, you could nip in the, uh, into the cafe and just have a wander around. The details there, it'd be nice to have had them opened up. Um, now there's a newspaper stand over here as well. Always look when you're crossing the tracks as well, please. Don't do it in real life, though. <laughs> Not over the main line, anyway. Obviously, foot crossings. There's a javelin coming. Where's he going? Probably onto our line, on the side of us. So. We'll get back in the train though. So yeah, a general look at the station. It's very nice. It's it's decent. Potential for screenshot here. Although it's in the shade here, so probably not. I'll just take a screenshot anyway. There's trains everywhere. I'm holding everyone up, that's what I'm doing. We must get going. Door into lot goes, though, when you press the button. I think, really, there should be a bit of a delay on that. Never mind. Up here, I went into neutral. Here we go. Hands up on the rear of this one. He's driving off without his headlights on. Oh no! Oh no! I think the money shot's going to be going over the uh, the, the big viaduct. There's a huge viaduct on the route. I think that'll be the nice screenshot. I think the sun's on the right side of this. No idea what's beeping. I mean, something's beeping me. Something's telling me off. Something to do with the safety system. I think it's KVB. It's a new one to me. Basically, I'm going under the uh, over the limit. Ignore me getting out of the chair because I've been so used to playing TS Classic. 
I automatically hear that noise and think, oh, it's DVD, driver vigilance, press E. But no, not in TS World, you've got to not press that SQ. <laughs> I got the hang of it in about five weeks' time when I've been playing it a bit more. So we're going to drive down towards Ebsleet International now. So quite a, a length of run. It's 31 miles, so we're just going to sort of take in the scenery, we're going to take in the weather, and automatically you can see just how much more bright and vibrant the world is in the game. It's a lot better. Into the uh, tunnel, which will come on to my next little uh, feature and uh, my little gripe, really. It's not to everyone's taste, I don't think this, but it's definitely not for mine. So, yeah, yeah, the great thing is there when you come out of that tunnel is I find that the eye adaptation is a little bit OTT, depending on the time of day you're in. Um, later in the night, you don't get that. Um, change because obviously the sun's dipping. Middle of the day, it's very, very much in your face. I, I think it's a bit too slow changing as well. Uh, and it's the same when sometimes you go into certain tunnels as well. Sometimes it dips a little bit too slow. Um, I personally would say keep it. And I, I, I like the idea that it's there. I just think it needs toning down a bit, really. Um, but that'd be nice to see if anything does get uh, addressed with that. It is a cool feature, though. Don't get me wrong. Just needs a little bit of uh, refining, I think. A little power down. Weirdly, I've got a uh, destination blinds up there now. When I streamed this last night, the destination blinds disappeared part way through my drive. I don't know why. Nope. Space and M. Again, falls the habit from TS Classic was uh, Space and B. <laughs> No, it's, it's really nice. They, they've done a good job with this um, extension. High speed's not always nice to see, but, uh, but it is a lot better. A lot more detail. Nice to have an extension as well. Really. Just hope maybe one day we'll get to these from um, War Star. Uh, Feature on this as well. Quite cool. Again, this is just mainly a, a showing just to show you guys at home um, whether it, it makes you want to get the, uh, the new game or not. Those as well that pre-order it with the deluxe uh, edition, you'll get Spirit of Steam as well. I haven't got it in there because I've already got Spirit of Steam. Uh, that'll get injected from the 6th onwards. So we'll get a bit more uh, speed up. So it says about about nine minutes. It's going to be a little bit more than nine minutes because we were uh, we we're too busy running around on the uh, Ashford station. It does include the depot as well at Ashford. We haven't shown the depot, but that is in there. Did that weren't too bad there? I don't think that was a bit as bad as I've seen it. It doesn't seem to be as much. Probably because the sun's probably dropping down a bit more now. Getting to the we've moved around. environment to be in. Details nice, good scenery. Any thoughts or stuff that you guys have as well do pop them into the uh, into the chat. Let us know your thoughts and feelings on this. What do you like and what don't you like? What would you like to see? What features would you like to maybe see in the future? One thing as well is the amount of for the amount of years that we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for better weather and better sky and stuff like that, we finally got it now, so fingers crossed we won't see that hatred anymore. And if we do see that hatred, I think people do need to sort of sit back and ask themselves, is there really any point in arguing now against it? Because it's not dark. Everything's bright. It's lovely. People start whinging and they need to get their heads up on them. Personally, I think. 
put it this way, I, I can take screenshots now a lot more happy. <laughs> Knowing that I'm not fighting against darkness everywhere. One thing I love as well is when you're in, in cloud, I mean it's not cloud but uh, if you have clouds around and you're driving where the cloud is blocking the sun, the ground actually goes dark and then it, once the sun's moved away or the clouds have moved out of the way, you can see it transition back to bright as well, it's really cool, it's great to see. Especially on the routes like the Cahoon Pass, um, the American route that comes with it. On that because it's so vast and open, when you see the clouds like going around, well, it's just amazing, especially when they're like lower than the mountain top. Great to see. That will probably on video. That will be video two, I think, as well. That will uh, feature that one. show you the map as well just so you guys know at home what's going on so we're about halfway maybe a little bit more than halfway currently maybe between Ashford and Fleet. Ashford down the bottom part here continuing up and onwards there's been a bit of an extension I think on this side as well I'm not overly sure what station that is though so there is a bit of an extension of this end as well I'm not sure if it's like the services that go towards Captain Cannon Street or Dartford or something like that So that's where uh, Rochester Strood area is, I think, Chatham. That comes underneath our line as well, them lines there. I'm going to get my map out, because I want to actually know what that extended bit is. Let's see if I can find it in my book. Whilst we're driving along, slightly speeding, we'll just power off for a moment. I don't want the alarms to start uh, going off and forcing brakes on those. Next thing I've got to do is try and find that map. I think I've found it. Page 13 apparently on my atlas. Uh, let's power back up again. Got Ashford. It's very confusing when you don't know where the line is and where it goes. I still don't quite uh, understand what's going on. I have page 37 actually. <laughs> I could be wrong. No, no, it is, it's Dartford. I've got it. No. So, yeah, it continues on from Epsley. Um, comes off at Springhead Junction, goes around to uh, Swanscombe, North Fleet. Goes, I think, over the top, and then it goes across. We've got Stone Crossing, Dartford. So, that's another section we'll have to probably feature at some point. Uh, it's a little feature itself, and it gives you a bit of a run, for, I think, for the 465s, I think. Potentially that, they've got the freight that I think runs over that way as well. So yeah, we'll have to give that a little look at. I'll probably feature that in another video with, uh, with a, like a stopping service. This video today is just to feature the obviously the high speed side of things. Now as well, just to state as well, the, the game is really totally default, there's no INI files injected into this at the minute, but modify that. Um, those will come down the line when the main release is out, which I will end up doing just to tweak things, sort LODs out and bits and pieces. But it looks decent enough in general to be honest at the minute. The one, one thing as well I will say is that, I don't know if it's visible here, yeah you can see it, it's the transition between the ballast on the track model and the ground, it's a bit noticeable. A stark line on that.
this um, area there. Wide open. <laughs> you can't play really. Now where are we on the map? So I want to make sure that I get in a good place. Get the screenshot going over this vital. Couple of glitches in the tunnels as well. Some of them seem to be tearing and fighting against themselves. Um, hopefully, stuff like this will be fixed. I'm not sure if it's doing with the bait lighting. You can see where it's just changing, like flickering, it's going bright. Basically, you see brightness as it's going around. There's a tear in the, in the wall. I think this is going to bring us out near the uh, the viaduct first. We catch the train. Hopefully this thing is going at a heck of a rate. Power off this thing. So I can try and get ahead of it. So fast. I think the battle might be going up. It's over there. It's just a race to try and get there first. A bit of break on just so I can get ahead of it. I have to slow it down a little bit so I can get a bit of screenshot. Looking out here though, the, the scenery is decent. Nice, good placement. I'll do a few minutes of power off. Uh, so I want to get a, a screenshot on this bridge, um, which looks really, really nice. Um, one little gripe is that the road has no traffic on it, which is a bit of a shame. It'll be nice to see. I love this scene though, it's uh, very nice. Some weird stuff going on with the hills over there though. It's a nice scene. It's hard to get screenshots when you've got all this fencing. I'll probably end up having to do a photo shoot afterwards just to get into a decent uh, spot rather than spending the whole video trying to get a screenshot. I mean, we should be arriving there in a minute and we're still six miles away. Obviously, the, the new section ends for this video at Ebsley. Going onwards into existing scenery, so there'll be a bit of updated and stuff like that as well, which you may be able to pick up on. Bits of extra footage and stuff like that have been worked on. Just give it a bit more of a filled feeling. Nothing massive in the way of like loading stutters either. Out of the three routes that come with the uh, the sim, so you got um, South East Nice Speed, um, obviously the next extends to Ashford, and um, you've got the Cocoon Pass, and you've got uh, Kozel Wurzburg, if that's pronounced correctly. Um, out of the three routes, the German route I find is the worst for performance. Um, it's it's definitely not running at 60 fps. Now I'm on a, a 3080 as well, graphics card, I've got 32 gig RAM. 12 gen uh, i7 and that it, it struggles so hopefully there can be some uh, fixes for that hopefully in, in the future on the performance side lovely route though 
just on the Pullman side on that one for me. We've been brought down now on a gradual speed on the TVM there, so down to 200 um, by the time we get to the next signal flag. It's there. It'll drop us down again in a second. Thing as well, when you've got your um, safety systems on, you don't want to be leaving it too late to brake because otherwise it'll just lock brakes on for you. So you, do, you want to be getting on with that quite quick, really. Just uh, going to the station now, so we'll get the brakes on. But uh, like we've we've been running around all over the place looking at station stuff, and uh, we ain't actually that late in a couple minutes. If you if you want for collectibles and stuff, do have a look around this station. There is a few bits dotted about. There's a few maps and other bits uh, worth jumping out for. Newspapers as well. I have gone past the stock car marker, but we're still in the platform, so I'm not overly worried. So this is where the original line joined on and to, uh, left so it would have continued that way to Favisham or come back from so I'm just looking uh, other route is um, it's just crossing over just a bit further up a couple of stations around here as well but we'll do that on another video There's the other. That's probably the javel actually that was um, alongside us at Ashford. Yeah, it is. So we've obviously held him up. He looks like he'll probably be waiting. He looked like, like he was non stop. You might actually get a screenshot here, you know. Let's try it. I think that's where the other line goes over there, it is, yeah. Uh... Yeah, we'll feature this on another video, but um, obviously continues on that way, so, yeah. Look forward to even that one because I haven't done it yet. Next stop, Stratford International. So we're on uh, familiar territory now on the existing parts of the route. But again, look out for anything that may have been updated. You may see some extra details that you might not have seen before. Just 
straight through into the tunnels here. Back up to 225 um, km. Overall though, it's, it's lovely that it's nice to see this upgrade and also extension and obviously everything else. Um, another cool thing is that obviously you, you have seen the DTG streams and all that stuff. Um, articles they have got a new feature which slightly has been seen before under the Isle of Wight route was the, um, the Sparks of Preferred Veil Shoe. Those have been implemented as well on Pandagraphs now, so you get to see them too. Which I love that feature. It's great at night time when you see the Sparks flash off. It's all random as well though, so you, you've got, you could be waiting for a bit for it to happen, but when it does it looks really good. I don't want to go outside actually. There we can. See if you can see a spark of pan. Sort of random. I just get mesmerised watching the pans up and down as well. Taste. I love watching it. Because of the speed you travel as well, you can sit there waiting for a few minutes. Before you know you, you've clocked a few miles in. Is this the intro to the, um, the C2C line that comes in here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not really sure which line this is. It's actually they've got the right OH Lee in there. It could be able to put any generic in. I'll oh, shift these when they get going. Also a feature as well is, I think if you have the actual route obviously, is you get the uh, these car wagons. Now, I think they're off a the German route, but if you've got them, they're layered in so that they uh, at least show the car trains that obviously get loaded here and, and all that. So you do get a bit of extra stuff to see when you pass by, which is quite nice. They weren't there originally, so... Against another little feature. I'm not sure if you'll ever go past and see one depart, but they're there to still see. I think the Totem car train, one that was Totem. So this tunnel will take us literally into uh, uh, Stratford, so St Pancras, Stratford International. 
about five miles of swing. In about a mile or two, we'll start getting uh, the speeds dropping down, which will bring us into a gradual uh, stop. We were three minutes late at Ebsley, so we'll see how, much, how, how, how late we are when we get into Stratford. Still got like four miles, so I'd say a couple of minutes at least. Next flag, speed will drop down again. So it's just getting us prepared. It's normal somewhere in the region of about two and a half miles where it starts um, bringing you down. Just in time, man. Good. Coming out the tunnel now, so. I'm going to try and do this a little bit better than I did last night. I came out of here absolutely hurtling at the right speed, but I just didn't break in time. I nearly, I nearly shot the platform. bit more managed. Wonder if that other train will go past us. It'll probably get held to be honest, unless it's stopping there. It's funny when the station you, you seem to think it's bigger than it actually is, but it's not. <laughs> actually not that long really in the grand scheme of things. We stop at the right point. We actually might do. Hey, he's only gone and done it. Bloody hell. Eh. And we are a minute and a half late. About a minute late, shall I say. There's the other one. It's coming now. I wonder if he'll... Uh... He'll probably end up having to wait, I think. Unless he's coming to the station. Ah, he's waiting. We've just held him up, that's all. A spark on the pan there, that lighting just blows me away. I'll keep saying it, it really does. It changes everything. I hope it changes people's perspective on the game a bit more as well. It's 
So next to the last stop is uh, St Pancras International. But it's literally about four and a half miles away. enjoyable drive again so this is the fourth run on this uh, new version enjoying it and loving it but we'll do um, a local stopping run um, very soon which will pop up on the channel I'll get that done um, and it's not a false promise either I will get it done because we want to try and cover as much of uh, TSW3 as we can sort of as much as we can before the run up to the release and we'll try and get as many of the videos done out But I'm not really sure how we're going to do the Coon Pass one because it's a long route. <laughs> it's very slow as well. So, yeah, I need to try and work something out with that. We'll do part of the run, all the run. But we'll just do a full drive without commentary. It's just a bit more of a, 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 a bit of a generic just, um, picturesque, can't speak, picturesque uh, camp ride style without comms. It might be a better way of doing it, to be honest. You just sit and you can just have a watch through. Got to be careful now as well. Got KVB um, start coming on. I made a bit of a mare with this last night, so it, it might go wrong in a second. But I'm gonna try and uh, try and do it. So when I did this run last night, by the time we come out the sun, was literally there weren't that much left in the sunlight, like in the sun. The sunset had just gone. It was just very, very dark orange in the distance. It was really nice watching it change. Just watching it transition. And the KVB is something to do with the dashes on the left hand side of the DRA. One of the viewers on the chat um, got briefly taught me through it last night. Doing certain speeds by certain points. And it got a bit confusing, but we got there. I got another safety system I've got to learn. Apparently, uh, in 400 yards, can do 230 kilometers. I don't think I'm going to do that though. Oh. We're stopping before this other service, are we? I wonder if these are joined together. They must connect. We'll do our best not to crash into it. So there we go. Bob on. 
Open doors. Uh, there we go. We'll just hang on a second. We'll just see what this has us doing. Might have us join up. If it doesn't, then we'll end things where we are. Got a couple up. There we go. Wow. This is a bit, uh, bit new. I've not done this before, so I don't actually know how you do it. Where's the hatch? Nope. A couple preparation. Is that it? Aha. Uh -huh. I presume I'm going to have to go into the other train and open the coupling hatch. How do you do that? Let me just... This will probably go wrong, this. Thing is, that needs opening. Oh, the hatch didn't open it. It won't let me open it. I don't know if that's coupled to them. Evidently not. Well, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get in here. Open the coupling hatch. I'm going to try it my way. Whether this is going to work or not is a totally different thing. Yeah, I'm getting back in here, thank you. <laughs> I'm just hoping for the best that this might work. I can't see any other way of doing it. That's done it. Ah, very good. I suppose that's the only way you can do it, I think. Well, it's, it's, it's worked, so happy days. Uh, right, we tend to be wrong. Just end that there, I think. So, yeah, that is how you couple up. <laughs> Must be. There's no way I don't think you can actually do it. Um, right. I'm going to go somewhere where there's not so much bright lighting. There we go. I'll sit here for a minute. So, I'm going to leave you there with that at St Pancras International. Get yourselves on there. Get yourselves ready for the launch. And, uh, Hopefully you guys will enjoy Train Simple 3 as much as I am. Um, 
after this video coming up next will most likely be the Cahoon Pass, I think. Um, we'll do something with that, and then the uh, Puzzle Wurzburg German route coming up after. Um, again, we're going to try and get these videos out before the release. If not, one may come out just after the release, but we'll we'll get them out to you. Um, massive thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Any comments or queries, put them in the chat. We'll do our best to answer them. Again, if there's something that we can't answer, ask it DTG. I'm sure they'll open themselves up and answer the questions where they can. Um, as always, uh, take care. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you again on the next video very soon. Bye for now.